What's up guys? It's Serenita and I'm back today with another video for you guys and yes, like always, I'm gonna say it took a little while this month. Um, it's probably gonna be like a month since my last post, um, but nonetheless, I'm here and thank you so much for being patient and waiting for me on this video. Recently, I did a poll and it was either to do a Cinco de Mayo makeup look, which I know it's not Cinco de Mayo anymore, but just the makeup look itself, or to do a Q&A get to know me video. And I was like kind of shook that a lot of people wanted to do the Q&A or chose the Q&A. Um, I didn't really think a lot of people wanted to get to know me. So, <laughs> um, and then I asked you guys to ask me some questions. So a couple of you guys did ask me questions. Um, I'm also gonna be answering some questions that I kind of just like randomly find off the internet so that way you guys can get me, get to know me a little bit better. But yeah, so um, without further ado, let's get into this Q&A. Bam! Oh my god, my hair is like a mess. Hopefully, you guys can see a lot of my baby hairs, and I'm so sorry. I have like baby hairs over here, baby hairs over here, but you know, whatever. And these contacts have me feeling a certain way, so if I'm with these contacts, like, obviously my eyes are not green, gray, whatever, but it's fine, it's fine. We're just gonna pretend that these are my eyes, so it's cool. I'm gonna do like the kind of just like the easy ones at the moment just like so you guys can or the common ones so that way you guys can um just know like the basics of me so far so um i had one per person ask me how old i am yeah i'm 25 and i'm proud to be 25 so yeah. <laughs> um okay um i'm gonna answer this question this is from a guy named rich a 21 um, from Instagram He just asked me um, Can't think of a question for your Q&A video aside from how's life keep doing you uh, thank you um, Life at the moment is really good um, A lot of new things have happened recently. I got another job and um, a new job I should say and um, I quit an old one that I was there for like a while a while 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 it's been like yeah, I was there for like a good couple of years. Um, and then I'm also have a job in my career or going towards my career. So I have two at the moment. And um, yeah, so everything at the moment, it's, it's going really good. It's really good. I'm trying to do this YouTube as well. And I'm just trying to get into the swing of things. And yeah, but so far, life is great. So. <laughs> this is from Retro Von Bombshell, which um, I have her on Instagram and she's also a fellow YouTuber. So hey girl, what's up? Um, she asked me, how did I get into the rockabilly scene? Uh, okay, this is gonna get tossed out a lot because obviously people are looking at me right now and it's like you don't look rockabilly because your hair is straight, you're just like in a basic tank top or whatever, but people do know me, um, some people know me as just from, uh, meeting me as like the pinup style and the rockabilly style or whatever. Um, I, I am in very much into that style and that is what I feel more, most comfortable in. Um, but... I think it gets tossed back around a lot because I do dress casual so people are like, well, you don't look like you're rockabilly. Um, so keep this in mind that just because you're into a style doesn't mean that you have to dress like it every single day of your life because I'm going to be real with you, I cannot get up, pin curl my hair every single day of my life. That's just not who I am. Um, yes, I'll, I'll do it, but that's just I'm too busy for, to do all that tedious stuff and it just takes me a while to do that stuff. So too much on the go. My hair's super thick, by the way, so yeah, I'm not every single day dressing like that but how i did get into the lifestyle um i want to say it was around in high school or like going into high school i feel like that's where a lot of people and a lot of like teenagers they go and they just like kind of find their own style what they like and all this stuff so i did definitely grow into that i did have some friends that were into that um so i think definitely in high school that's where i kind of found it um grown on to me or grown into me or whatever you want to grew into it whatever but yeah, and then from there on. So yes, I definitely still am in the rockabilly style. Yes, I do dress like that here and there. It's just when you're going to school and you're working a lot, you just don't have that much time. And then I hardly have any time to dress like that because I'm either one in my work clothes or B just like too lazy to dress in it because I'm at school and I'm just like up oh, top shirt, vans, let's go out the door. So um, yeah, but I mean, other than that, that's pretty much how I got into it. I mean. So anyways, um, for the next question, uh, I had someone on Instagram 
Okay, so actually this is one of my friends. <laughs> but I promised her I would ask answer these questions because I love her and she's so super sweet and I've known her for a while. So she put, how much do you love me? Um, this is from my friend Beth. Uh, I, I love you endlessly. It's like from the moon and back, back and forth, a trillion, trillion, bajillion, endlessly times. So my love for you, baby girl, is endless. Um, can we have a mini a mini makeup photo shoot stuff? So yes, yes, we can. Yes, we we can do that ASAP. You let me know when you want to and I'll set it up because shooting with you just make my pictures look bomber. Like with and you got it, boo. You got it. So definitely let me know. Um, will you help me with all my waist training needs? Of course, of course I would. Definitely I will help you with all of your needs, boo. Like I got you. I would never let anything happen to you. So yes, you're gonna you're gonna be having that slim waist, looking all cute or whatever. But yeah. <laughs> um, she put, why are you so beautiful? Probably because I beat the hell out of my face with this 50 ass dollar foundation and this like $50 eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes, these $50 highlights that I have on my face, and this $20 Jeffree Star lipstick that I have on my lips. And for all that money, I better look close to beautiful or at least decent. But that's the only reason why that I even look like this or whatever, just because I have all this on my face. But shoot, for the money, I better look good. I better. Like, other than that, I look like trash without my makeup. So, <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> um, and yeah, then she put love you. And I love you. Thank you for asking me questions because she supports me. So, that's my number one fan right there. <laughs> What's your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Um, any types of like dark reds, burgundies, uh, kind of bright reds, like this. My bed quilt. Also, I got a new bed quilt. It's black and red. Okay, it's really pretty. Um, and then the pillows have black outlined rose, like black roses on it. And if you don't know me, I love black roses. Like I know you can. Uh, grow flowers into being black. I think there are some type of flowers that are actually black, but I don't know what they're called. Um, but then you can also like put like food coloring, I think, and then put the stem and it like soaks up and makes the rose black, I think. But I love black roses and it has black roses on the pillows and then there's, yeah, it's black and red. That's my favorite color. So I love all these kinds of red and this type of red and whatnot. So yeah, I love red. Red and I think my second color, fav my second favorite color would be black because black is a happy color, so yeah. Uh, but I think a lot of people like black. What is your biggest pet peeve, or what do you not, or what what do you not like in a person? Um, my biggest pet peeve would be people who think they're entitled or think they're like priority. Um, I don't like people that act like that. But definitely being a server. You meet all kinds of different people, all kinds of personalities, and there's so many personalities that I've met um, being a server where I didn't even think that their people could be that rude, that people could be that mean, but there definitely are. What I, what I don't like in people as well is I don't like people who sit there and like lie, I guess to me. I, I don't like it when I sit there and I tell people, tell me the truth, let me know, what do you want? Like as far as like, if I'm sitting and I'm asking a question, like what, like what is it, like what's going on? Like I'm saying all the truth and I feel like when people still can't tell me exactly and they still wanna lie about it, even when I'm giving them their answer to their face and they're still like, no, that's not what it is. I don't like people like that. I just feel like if you, if people were more straight up with people, it would be a little bit better. Even if the truth is harsh, that it's just life overall, we can't always hear exactly what we wanna hear. Um, but it's better to know the truth than sit there and still not get the truth and be like, well, like what? You know what I mean? And then and then people wonder why uh, people leave and get out of their life because they're not gonna sit there and play mind games. They're not gonna sit there and you know what I mean? Uh, be your friend or be your girlfriend or be just there for you overall. Like people need to take that in perspective and. I feel like honesty is the best. Whether it's harsh or whatever, if they're asking for the truth, give them the truth. But like, if you're lying about your to your boss that you're like sick or whatever, like that's totally different. But <laughs> that's a different story. So the next question, uh, someone asked me, how many tattoos do I have? I have. Let me try, Let me count. Hold on. I, I mean, this may seem this may seem like I have a lot, but I really don't. I feel like I don't even have that much. But I have one, two, three, four. I 
have eight tattoos. I have eight tattoos and I want more and I don't think that's a lot at all. So my friend like, that's a lot because maybe you don't really have tattoos or maybe you don't want to get that many tattoos. But me personally, compare me to a person who is, has a bunch of tattoos on their arms or whatever, this is like a little bit. This is nothing compared to what they have. Um, I definitely do want more. So I have eight tattoos and they're pretty cool. I like them. I don't regret any of them yet, but yeah. <laughs> we'll see when I get a little older. Do you have any piercings? Uh, yes. I have my belly button pierced and my ear piercing. What's your zodiac sign? Um, my zodiac sign, I am a Capricorn. I was born January 14th, uh, 1993. And yeah, I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn and we are the most, I think it says on the word, most down to earth signs. And I do feel like definitely down to earth. Um, I should be very open-minded to everybody. Uh, I try to be there for a lot of people. I try to, um, I feel like I try to like heal a lot of people too. I don't know why, but um, yeah, we're very, I feel like us Capricorns are very non-judgmental. We're just kind of just like, oh, whatever. We kind of go with the flow. Um, have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I have in high school and even out of high school, I think, okay, I think I'll make one of those a story time because I think it would be very interesting. Um, but yes, I have been in um, a couple of fights. I was like in three or four fights in high school and um, I'm not proud of them. I don't like uh, recommend fighting at all. And when I say it like, oh, I've been in a fight, it's not like, oh, guess what guys, I've been in a fight. Um, I was bullied a lot in high school. Actually, like my whole entire like, year of school, year, like uh, elementary, I was bullied. Um, I was bullied in middle school and I was bullied in high school. I want to say I was in five fights altogether because I do remember I was also in a fight in middle school and then the rest of them were high school and one of them was out like when I just I don't want to say freshly graduated and probably like a year or two after um but it was all people from high school it was people that I knew from high school um I was bullied a lot I was bullied a lot I do definitely think um I feel like it was the people that I hung out with as well, um, but I don't think that makes it right to be bullied at all. Um, there was a lot of people who I felt like just were, if one person didn't like you, they all didn't like you. There were people who didn't even get to know me and they didn't like me. Um, and then they just had this set of mindset of me that I was like this bitch and I was like a stuck up girl. And because people were painting me this picture, they didn't ever sit, sit down and get to know me. And they never sat down and was like, are you really like this? Like they never sat down and talked to me. Um, so of course, if you see me walking around and you see me with a bitch face, you're, all, you're automatically just gonna think I'm a bitch. Like, but other than that, no, that's not who I am. Um, but I honestly feel like that made me stronger. It made me who I am like today. Um, and I'm thankful that I didn't let them get to me. Uh, I know there are some people who are bullied and um, they sadly end their life um, and things don't work out for them because of people like this. And I'm so glad that they did like laws and stuff like that for bullying. Um, and hopefully they have more control over it now just because social media is so evolving time and time again and it's so more so more harsh than i feel like it was when i was in high school it was just like facebook and maybe myspace before facebook and then i don't know if it was anything else besides that but it was just yeah now i can only imagine because there's snapchat and people still use facebook and then there's like instagram and people are just so mean there's girls that are so mean there's guys who can be assholes and you know it's 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 sad so um definitely not proud of the fights that i did but it was all in self-defense um because at the same time you just get angry you're like i'm not gonna let these people push me around anymore and looking at me you wouldn't even think because i'm really skinny i'm super tiny i'm very t i'm very petite and i'm a small girl um but just because you're small does does not mean anything to your size if someone's coming at you i've seen big girls fight small girls and small girls end up just like don't mess with me you know what i mean so um yeah i'm not proud of that but at the same time i am glad that encounters like that somewhat came in my life because it did structure me into a certain person but i don't recommend fighting i recommend to like go to like your counselor or your principal or somebody and just let them know because like hitting each other isn't right um 
you can really hurt people like seriously then you can fuck someone up and people have like even died from getting in like really bad fights so yeah just like watch that but um yeah i've been in fights <laughs> okay so my camera died and like trying to get back in the same spot that i was because i moved it around but hopefully this looks like the same angle that i was at but if it's not whatever um okay getting back to the question uh why blah, blah, blah. why did i join youtube um okay so right now typically i am a small youtuber i only have a little bit of followers um but i am trying to grow and when i first started i was literally still in high school and i didn't even know the many opportunities that can be grown with youtube i was doing it without no knowledge that you can get um any type of like sponsorships or anything like that so let me just make that very clear i had no idea to begin with at all um the reason why i joined youtube was because um like i said i was bullied a lot in high school i didn't really have that many friends and the friends that i did have i couldn't really trust them um they proved to me that like they really didn't have my back through everything so a lot of times i did feel alone um and here was me by myself with a camera and trying to do what these big youtubers were doing and i wanted to fit in somewhere where i belong because if you do look up on a lot of people a lot of the people that did join youtube was because they were bullied and they felt somewhere safe with youtube that they can come and connect um with just the camera and even though you just think oh you're talking yourself to camera no you're talking to thousands of people people that watch you you feel like you belong somewhere and there's there's i mean there's judgments everywhere but as far as what's weird and what's not there's always going to be someone that likes you for you that's that they're going to like your content and yeah there's going to be a thousand people that don't like your content there's going to be a thousand people that you know are going to sit there and, and do whatever but at the same time it is a safe place for me when i started doing it i didn't feel no judgments i didn't feel anything because I, I i didn't have no idea of what it could be as far as like everything else it was just me my camera and a safe place that's what it was the perfect word youtube was my safe place it's still my safe place regardless of me having more friends now or not youtube is my safe place forget the bullshit of you know people who hit you up and yeah yeah that's always pluses i mean ask every youtuber a lot of them have sponsors and everything it's a career optional and i want to do this i want to be i'm very into fashion while people don't know what i am i'm very into fashion yes makeup okay i can't sit here and say i'm a, a, a total like beat my face pro but um i want to do this it's still my safe place regardless of um all the endorsements or not it's it's somewhere where people feel comfortable and that's why i'm still doing it till this day so how much do you weigh um a lot of people are probably like what you're sick like oh my god you weigh that much I weigh 98 pounds, yes, I know, and just because I weigh 98 pounds, it does not mean that I'm anorexic, that I have an eating disorder, that I'm sick, there are girls who actually weigh my weight, um, that's just, it's just your body, I'm very petite, I eat, don't worry, I eat, like, I got meat on these little, I mean, probably not a lot, but there's some meat there, there's meat, <laughs> um, yeah, I've always been pretty small and petite, but I just have a very fast metabolism, um, Definitely, definitely, definitely. I know I'm not gonna stay like this for my whole entire life, so I'm hitting the gym just to like get toned. You know what I mean? Like I just, I want to be a milf when I get older. Like if I were to have kids, I want to be a milf. So, I mean, all your bodies. Whenever any woman gets older, your body changes. So that's just life itself. But yeah. Um. So yeah, we need eight pounds. And yeah, my favorite foods. My favorite foods would be pasta, ribs. And I want to say Thai food. Yeah, pasta ribs and Thai food. Those are like my three favorite foods. I love ribs. I love barbecue ribs. When I was younger, I used to eat like a whole thing by myself. I fucking love ribs. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> my celebrity crushes. Oh, girl. My celebrity crushes. <laughs> my celebrity crushes. Um, Mark Wahlberg. I don't give a fuck if you guys think he's older right now because yeah he is older but he is so hot like mark Wahlberg, if you ever see this video i like you're i watched you since i was younger your movie fear is like my favorite movie if you guys haven't seen it you guys should see it it's with reese witherspoon um oh let me tell you mark Wahlberg was at his prime right there like 
and like the whole thing like in that movie is him being like a psycho boyfriend but he is so hot like i would sacrifice a lot of stuff just to be in that position like that sounds crazy but he is such so good in that movie and like his whole persona and how he is like well, of course like he was like a bad boy so of course like some of us girls are like oh yeah i want that but they're never good for you they're fucking assholes like don't don't date them because they're assholes but he was just like oh yeah like i want you and there and i'm just like take me i want you <laughs> he's hot um another oh my god what i find attractive in other people um hmm. sense of humor obviously um, because who doesn't love to laugh? Uh, can keep a conversation going because I'm a very talkative person. So if you can keep up with me, you're golden. Not judgmental, open minded. Open minded people that are just like, yeah, no, that's fine. Like, if you say something, you're kind of nervous of saying it and they make you 10 times more comfortable. Why are you nervous to tell me that? Like, what? Like, I like people like that because they're just, they don't judge you for whatever. Like, they're just like, okay, that's fine. Like, don't worry about it. So, yeah, so that's three things that I find attractive in people, whether it be friendships or relationships or whatever you want to talk about. Um, overall, that's just, it's cool to have people like, have I ever done something I regret very much? I think a lot of people have. Not saying what I had to say to someone um, that passed away. I never got to tell that person what I wanted to, I think, or just like, you know, things, but, um, that's a biggest regret so no matter what loved ones whatever just consistently tell them what you feel and how you feel because unsaid words can kill you so definitely yeah that's one of them oh my god i feel like i'm getting so oily if i look oily i'm so sorry i feel like i look so oily right now this is, i need to get a blotch like oh my god i'm getting hot this room is like whoo it's getting hot girl oh my goodness where's my where's my little block papers at let me go get these block papers we're in this car again where am i going who makes me laugh the most? My dog, I think. <laughs> I feel like my dog makes me laugh a lot, Bella, because pugs are so funny. Like, it's funny enough that their face is like squished in and like they don't really have like a face to <laughs> the squished in, but they're so funny. Like she is the most like exciting and highlighted thing in my life because of how funny she is. Like she'll literally get so excited and spin in circles and <laughs> lose her balance and she'll like slam into like her toy box or like one time she accidentally slammed into the wall <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and i know that doesn't sound funny it's like why would you laugh at me but like it's like what the hell like she did it to herself and i was like you poor baby but she's always doing something funny or she'll like be in between like my other dog's bed and like literally like stuck herself like in like where the pillow's at and like underneath and she'll like hide in there and then you'll see her little head pop out and i'm like what are you doing like oh my god that girl she's crazy um something you would change about yourself um i would i kind of wish i didn't care so much i know that sounds bad huh that sounds like what do you mean by that um i, I just feel like i care too much like i'll get too like i don't want to say involved but just too too deep into like certain things where i'm just like why do i care like why do i care like why can't i be like some people who are just fucking heartless and like just don't give a fuck that's not me that's not how i was made that's not how i was born or raised or whatever right i i care a lot when i when i give and when i let someone into my life i give them my all and i kind of wish that i wasn't like oh but don't get me wrong though we can you can piss me off and i'm gonna walk out of your life like bye don't get that twisted because i will walk away <laughs> i guess i'll just end it with this one i don't know this is like a sweet one whatever i don't know kind of um this one says uh what is your favorite dessert and if you don't know me and you're my friend we can't be friends anymore so you should know this um i love rocky road rocky road ice cream is my favorite dessert of all time like if I'm upset at you or whatever, if you give me a Rocky Road ice cream, I'll be so happy. I'll be like, wait, what did you do? I mean, well, depending how bad what you did, but like, yeah. Um, Rocky Road ice cream is my favorite dessert. And um, chocolate chip ice cream is my second. I'm a chocolate person. Yeah, I love chocolate. <laughs> but that'll be my last question. I hope this gives you guys a little bit 
of like a perspective of me or whatever I try to get a little bit personal and somewhat deep I don't want to get too crazy because you know whatever but um yeah I just want you guys to get to know me a little bit better and if you guys have any more questions let me know I'll do another Q&A maybe I'll do another Q&A like in a different type of style or a different way or do a Q&A like get ready with me or something but yeah I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also click that like button. And if you want to keep up to date with me, don't forget to click that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I have a new video uploaded. And let's just be a family. Because, yeah, so. All right, guys. So I will see you next video. And I hope you guys have an amazing week, weekend, month, whatever. I just hope you guys are doing good. And I love you and have a beautiful day. Bye. Mwah.